Hey everybody, you're here with Jared Case and I'm gonna take you through the posting group and posting setups for low. So from master data through to uh, posting documents that create journal outcomes that uh, turn into results on your general ledger. And the purpose of this is to turn around and help our customers understand the level and size of configurability of Business Central to create amazing financial outcomes in your reporting. Um, so let's first and foremost, uh, I like to give credit, you know, give honor where honor is due. I've, I've taken this concept from a consultant called Tsunlosh from Use Dynamics. We used to share their videos, but they, um, they, they blocked, uh, you being able to embed or share these videos, uh, that they produce. And that's fine. That's their decision. And so we decided to redevelop this video. But again, um, this concept of describing it this way wouldn't be possible without him. So thank you very much and to his team. And so let's get into this. This is pretty huge. We have here our moving from left to right. We have our posting groups and documents. We have our journals. We have our posting setups. And then we have our chart of accounts. All right. So as an example, a posting group, which is a general business group just here, which is associated with master data here, mixed with an, 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 a um, general product posting group, mixes with an item here. When the two come together, it will determine if that customer was domestic or foreign or intercompany, where that sits as it posts through to your chart of accounts. So the combination of the above will combine with the bottom sections here within the posting setup to create a combination of um, outcomes that, that allows you to get to a point where you can have quite a complex configuration that gives you quite a simple result you're, you're wanting to take care of what many businesses struggle with is getting to really good quality reporting outcomes to do that you need to lean in in this conversation of having a rich configuration around your master data around your items and resources and then around your posting groups and making sure that, um, sorry, your posting setup and making sure that we, we take that the full advantage of, um, business central to give you some really good, good, good outcomes. So let's, let's keep kicking through this. We start from left to right. And then that's how customers see it. They think logically you start off with an invoice. The invoice then does what it creates some journals that post and creates. And so you, you're thinking, logically but as an implementer i actually look at the end result you want to achieve and then i reverse engineer it and i walk backwards okay so we're going to start at the beginning and then we're going to walk backwards let's see how we go here we are vendor posting group okay this relates to um, your vendor ledger your customer posting group again relates to the customer ledger ledger entries where that sits on your chart of accounts. You have your general business post group. Normally this is defined as a customer type, like it's uh, the customer's domestic, foreign or intercompany, or it could be a vendor that's ICP, uh, could be an employee, could be many different things. The point being is it's a, it's a posting group. We have a tax business posting group. Okay, this relates to your master data up at your customer or your vendor. Much difference from a tax product posting group. And when we say tax in this example, I've replaced this because we have customers um, that are viewing this that are both using either GST, which is Australia and New Zealand, New Zealand, sorry, Kiwis. And then you have your VAT who use um, uh, anything rest of world with exception to America. And then you have the USA, which use a tax system. And funny enough, in Business Central, we just call it tax. So um, just to be super clear, they're, 
this we are trying to mean what you do and if you are looking in your business central instance just change the word tax with your type of tax and you'll be able to search most of this up we have our inventory posting group which relates to the inventory and the location we're dealing with and then we have a fixed asset posting group so what happens we have all of this appear we have master data your vendor your customer and your location between them i would argue that an item really belongs up in your master data up here as well but this is how the picture was drawn so your master data starts with your business group your vendor relates to a business group in a vendor posting group your customer relates to a customer posting group in a business group okay and so and they all they will have a um you know they'll all both customers and vendors will have a tax relationship down here we've got our general product product posting group which is talking about items resources and items so how does that post okay what's the configuration of that when it meets a customer so when the two the top meets the bottom how will it combine okay and you've got your um and as we said fix that so, so let's keep moving the key that turns this into a journal is a document so a document is like a sales order post becomes a sales invoice a purchase order post becomes a purchase invoice so it's the posting of a document record now within business central posting generally means um it's it's uh you know created in concrete and so the idea with your posting is you go through and you should be able to preview any of the documents by clicking the posting function and there it will show you a preview option that shows you what happens what journals are created here so here is an example of journals so the general product posting group the tax product the general business posting group and the tax business posting group all determine outcomes when combined right for the gl um, your bank posting group determines which bank account your fixed asset posting group determines where the fixed asset sits so these journals as they flow through when you post it creates a a major and minor effect so let's look at that general posting setup is a major complex setup that combines itself between the customer posting group okay just here and the general product posting group and so the end result you get is that it determines which gl that revenue will go to whereas inventory it has the same effect between a location and the item and the combination of that will determine within the inventory posting setup how it will sit on your chart of accounts for your tax you have the same situation mixed between the tax business so gst business posting group and the gst product posting group all vat or tax yeah so when they combine it determines option a and product a determine a code set your customer posting group generally will determine straight to the where where that customer ledger entries will sit same for the vendor the vendor posting group determines where the vendor ledger entries will sit the bank will determine where the bank ledger entries will sit and same with fixed asset and so as we go to the next level that's where from a single document like a sales order posting to an invoice you can see many transactions happen all in the one go and this is when someone says to me oh i want to be able to edit uh posted documents and the answer straight away is no because you're unraveling a spider's web of transactions that were determined based on quality standards if you want to edit something you have to then reverse it backwards to get rid of those transactions and so um yeah it's quite quite confronting the size of this but again as an implementer i'm usually sitting here looking at this i'm looking at your income statement and i'm like what is the ideal profit and loss that you're looking to achieve 
tell me about your revenue, tell me about your costs. How do you capture that? When do you capture it? How do you hold your assets? When do you realize currency changes? When do you realize, you know, certain movements in, in your inventory? How does it move? How do you receive? So there's a lot of things that go into this conversation. And then from that, we start working backwards to the general posting setup, the inventory posting setup and the tax setup in those groups and configurations. And it tells us what we're wanting to achieve. Okay. And from here, we're able to say, well, that's the cost. That's, that's fairly logical. And then move back into the journals, seeing the result in the documents and then back into your posting groups, etc. So I guess the, the picture here that we're wanting, um, to point here is that, um, it's very flexible system. Like this system is phenomenal. There's nothing like it in the market, but it does need intent. And what I mean by that is you need to be intentional to achieve outcomes. Otherwise it can just turn into a mess because you weren't really thinking about what you were creating in your master data and your, 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 your item data as it's combined and come through and created these postings. You, you know, if you're careless, you'll get reckless results. So it does take a customer that's chasing quality data to have the intent to look at this from the beginning and find their way forwards to the result they want, but also then walk backwards and double check it with their consultant. So that is the flow of posting groups, posting documents, posting setups, journals, and the flow of transactions through Business Central. Thank you.